It gets, it lets you see like, like a model is kind of like perfect, you know. Um, but a brain, it lets you actually see how it how it works, even with all its uh, imperfections. That might um, it is actually not my first brain I cut. Really? <laughs> yeah, but it's the first sheep brain I cut. That's the excitement of it. That's when we really see big problems and questions come alive. It comes out of the process. This kind of structure allows us to kind of bounce off each other and we feed off our, um, each other's ideas. Mm -hmm. That's awesome because we further develop our ideas and we can get to more, um, more conclusions that way. We get to hold on to it and look at it and, and interpret it perhaps over um, a long period of time, right? I love that. What else? Yes. Um, a photo is like a window and cool. it takes us um, to a time and we think we know everything about it. The net is thick and yes. there are only some holes so it cannot completely show um, exactly what is happening at that time. I love this. I love this. So we dissected a sheep brain. We first separated its hemispheres and then we split it again to look at the frontal lobe versus the kind of back optical lobe. I think it's the real life experience that really helps you understand, you know, getting in there and taking apart the brain it really helps you identify where things are. I think doing this is better than watching something or like watching videos because we get hands-on experience that like helps us learn better. I, I'm a better learner when I can actually like feel what I'm doing and see and alter it physically instead of like just watching something happen on the screen.